My name is Ulrich Boyers and I'm working at the Academic Medical Center in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Our title, if I, if I may uh, cite the title, it's New Paradigms in the Treatment of Hepatic Cholestasis uh, from ERSO to FXR, PXR and beyond. What it says is um, that uh, we already have at this moment for a group of diseases we call cholestatic liver diseases, um, we already have some treatments for a part of our patients already have brought a major benefit, uh, uh, but we still have many patients who are not adequately treated. And uh, these diseases where I talk about, the cholestatic liver diseases, mainly chronic cholestatic liver diseases, so long-going diseases, they usually are progressive. And the problem is that these patients, when they are not treated, when we take the most frequent of them, primary biliary cirrhosis, um, um, they, are pro they are progressive. And uh, after 10 or 15 years without treatment, they develop liver failure, they develop cirrhosis and the liver failure. So we have to intervene in these diseases. When I started as a fellow, I found many patients with uh, terminal liver disease, chronic cholestatic patients with terminal liver disease who awaited liver transplantation, which at that time was new uh, uh, in, the, in the university hospital where I worked in, in, in Munich. Um, and uh, um, short after that, a new treatment was for the first time described, which is simple bile acid, ursodeoxycholic acid. And I was fascinated by this bile acid and, and, and uh, I, I, uh, for the f following 15 to 20 years I studied how this bile acid might work. And today we have a, uh, uh, yeah, have a uh, view how this, how this bile acid on a molecular base works and beneficially affects the course of the disease. It stimulates the impaired secretion of liver cells and al also of cholangiocytes and it produces, uh, it, it, it induces bicarbonate secretion into bile. And today we think this is a crucial mechanism to, to uh, um, protect the bile, the bile ducts against damage by endogenous bile acids. We will describe this, the, the actual state with ursodeoxycholic acid, which diseases can we treat, uh, 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 what are the indications for ursodeoxycholic acid on the long term, um, and, and what are the drawbacks, uh, uh, where are we not good enough. And we are not good enough. During the last years, uh, I think we have made spectacular progress. There are new compounds, which uh, uh, particularly on the transcriptional level, um, uh, activate uh, expression of uh, uh, trans transcription of proteins and so forth. These uh, so-called so nuclear receptors, they are very promising. We have the so-called Farnesoid X receptor, we have the so-called Pregnant X receptor, FXR, PXR, which I already mentioned in the title. We know of these that they can stimulate impaired secretion uh, uh, in liver cells and in cholangiocytes. And again, this, is, this appears to be a crucial mechanism to stimulate secretion. There are other uh, factors which we will discuss uh, which are promising and where we think they could make part of a new concept of treatment. I think we will come in all of these diseases, we probably come to combination treatments. I think on the field where we are working or where we are focusing on, uh, I will write this article together with uh, Professor Poupon from Paris, Professor Trauner from Vienna and Professor Janssen from, from Amsterdam. Um, the field on which we work since many years, each of us, uh, I think is exciting at this moment because we have so many new developments. And I think uh, uh, what I already uh, uh, saw during the last 25 years since I'm busy with this and, and since I first started to work on ERSO, which is now an established treatment, I think we will have a couple of other uh, uh, promising treatments in the near future, which we then have to, to, to evaluate. And uh, uh, I hope that in 10 years from now, we can control most of the diseases where I talked about.